Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today from space weather, including potential Earth effects, to a video recommendation, to solar climate forcing, to an ancient geomagnetic excursion, and to a fantastic website recommendation. We'll hit it all with links below the video in the description box. We are starting, as always, with our star. Over the last day, there were only C-class solar flares, but several filaments erupted. You should be able to see how active the corona is despite the lack of larger flaring events. And you can see the plasma activity even better in 304 angstroms here, including the activity behind the incoming limb. This is what we saw in the couple weeks leading up to the last 5.9 month cycle uptick and we are indeed just a couple weeks away from the next one. One of those eruptions, the filament on the north, released a CME that may come close to interacting with Earth. It would be a glancing blow and minor if anything, but we'll have eyes on the solar wind. We also have several small but developing sunspot groups here, none with major flare potential as of the early morning hours, but each with room to grow. We'll also be watching the solar wind for the arrival of the coronal hole stream. 211 angstrom shows it as the dark patch crossing here on the north, reaching from the polar region down to the equator. If anyone didn't catch the latest Big Burb update, Rocky jumps on to give a little short perspective on the big picture. Link is below to the Big Burb channel where we're building an EMP-proof vehicle. Interesting study on the energy flux impact of solar wind and energetic particle events on Mars. Some of the principles here could actually really help the climatologists of Earth refine their models for Earth effects of space weather, if those people ever studied solar influence on Mars or didn't get all their funding to prop up a one-sided political paradigm. The geologists are getting better at this. They discovered a geomagnetic excursion in the sediment record from 16 million years ago. Evidence of previous isotope struggles suggests their dating methods might be a bit off, but didn't stop them from identifying a clear and clean signal of polar shifts at that time. Last but not least, we have previously propped up Electroverse on this channel for their excellent cold weather reporting, and I'd like to do the same today for Cold Weather Report. It's an excellent blog page compiling the colder events happening across the globe. Of course, we are still gearing up for our mini Blitz tour in the spring. Link to get tickets to our events is below, again, along with links to everything else. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.